quarter action now. We take it up. University of Phoenix Stadium in lovely Glendale, Arizona. Tom Brady, ankle or shoulder. Eli Manning with Peyton in attendance. Bill Belichick dealing with the Spectre spy gear all week. The opening kickoff. The players were expecting it to be blinding with the flash bulbs, and it was. First possession of the game, Giants third and six. Manning, Plexico burst 14. What a first drive for Eli Manning. Great job by Eli Payton having a look on. This set the tempo for the game physically for the Giants. One thing that the Giants did very well tonight was pick up the blitz. I saw Brandon Jacobs and Bradshaw step in there and pick up the blitzes tonight, which gave Eli plenty of time to throw the football. And there's your guy Bradshaw running with all those people on his back, leaves. Eight yards and a first down. Giants got a 3-0 lead. Longest drive in terms of time of possession in Super Bowl history, nearly 10 minutes. All right, here come the Patriots, though, right back at you. Brady looking over the middle for six. For Benjamin Watson, that was an easy call for the officials. Pass interference on Antonio Pierce. Got to turn around and find the ball, but Antonio Pierce has played great football this year. Gave him the ball inside there for a chance to punch it in. Same drive, second quarter now, second to go. Have some. Lawrence Maroney, first Patriot ever to rush for a touchdown in three straight postseason games. Pats up 7-3. Next Giants possession, third and seven. Man, it's looking, 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 and hooking with the Monty Tumor. Big gain of 38 yards with Keyshawn. How did the Monty get open? I would look at that thing and say it's a little foul play. I think the referees missed that call. Little? Little, little foul, foul play? play? <laughs> no blood, no foul. Ellis Hobbs got <laughs> cracked in the face mask. No call. Same drive, third and five. Man, and looking for Steve Smith. Intercepted by Hobbs. First Eli pick in the postseason in 96 attempts. What happened there? Well, you know, it's going to go on Eli and the stats, but it shouldn't. Steve Smith, got to go down and get that ball. You're in the red zone. Can't afford a turnover. Giants were able to overcome it, but index. No, Coach Coughlin, that's right. Got to make on. that catch. Index fingers and thumbs together. Not pinkies. He got body. He got eight up. Later in the second, Justin Tuck puts a beat down on Tom Brady. Patriots forced a punt. Randy Moss had as many catches up to this point as the five was put together, which is how many guys? Son. Zero. Right, right. Justin Tuck was a beast like that. Next, Giants possession, third and four. Manning back to pass. He's roughed up by Adelius Thomas. Knocked the ball loose. Fumble knocked forward to Steve Smith, who picked it up for an apparent first down, but flag going to play Emmett. Why? The reason why, Steve, here you, you get Bradshaw's trying to knock the ball out of bounds. Instead, he knocks it up the field, and obviously Smith ended up recovering the ball in, in first down territory, and so it's an illegal play, illegal batting forward. Shades of Dave, Dave Casper and the Holy Roller. Brady sacked and fumbles the rock right there, recovered by O.C. Yuminyora. Giants ball, Justin Tuck was a beast, as you said, John. This guy, and you know, we hear about Strahan and Yuminyora. One of the most unsung players in the league this year has been Justin Tuck because he is a, when they double team somebody else, he's been getting single and he ate him up tonight. Big two head. Strahan, the Strahan held up. They yep. were not worried at all. Absolutely. Big Tuck had two sacks, six tackles in the first half. Hey, these same two teams, they combined for 37 first half points in their week 17, meaning just 10 here in the first half. Patriots held to a season low 81 first half points, and the Giants had the rock for over 19 minutes, but 0 for 2 in scoring touchdowns in the red zone. Tying their season low with three first half points. Can Steve leave it? Can you holler at us? I can. Point? You know, in the history of the Super Bowl, if you lead at halftime, you win 32 of the 39 games where someone's had a lead at halftime. And the Pats had the lead. They had 7 3 lead. Tom Brady, and Kevin Falk. And who's making that tackle? Antonio Pierce. Thank you. Exactly. All right, so Pats have to punt, right? Here's where it gets tricky. That's Chase Blackburn. He's trying to get off the field before they snap. Now Hanson gets the punt away. No flags on the play. Not yet anyway, you'll see. R.W. McQuarters fields it, goes out of bounds. Can't get any past Bill Belichick. He's crafty. KG, crafty, wily. It's a call change. Watch this. Can't get the high. Look at those mad hops over there. Blackburn can't quite get out the field. There is 12 men. Finally got a piece of tape that worked. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Come on now. It's, it's important for Come people upstairs now. to tell Belichick exactly what happened on that play so they don't waste the time out. Bill doesn't miss anything, guys. So they needed the five yards to continue the drive. And because of the penalty, gave him a first down. Later on in this drive, third and 13 of the 42. Here's Brady to Falk. That's 14 Watch out. yards in the first down. Best third down back in football, guys. He understands every single time where the yard marker is a great football player. The other Falk is working somewhere else. And you can see the determination on Falk's face when he's trying to get that first down. Here's the patch problem all night. Michael Strahan in that front seven of the Giants. Strahan brings Brady down. 
Think he's any good, Keith? I think he's got some big muscles. <laughs> <laughs> that was abuse. He ran right by him. Strahan's been doing it his whole career against the run and rushing the passer. Did it again in this game. How about this call, fellas? This is fourth and 13. Instead of a, a long field goal, they go for it. Brady throws deep. I'm not sure he hit a deep ball all game. That time he completed the Jabbar gap. And everybody was double covered. And there's no chance to complete a ball when you throw it out of bounds either, Lee. Turnover on downs. Here's Eli now. He's throwing deep. Over the middle, Plaxico Burris. How about the covers there? That's the computer triangle right there. Look if he hits Monty Toomer in the end cut. Might have been the only bad decision Eli made. Toomer goes out the back door, but hey, incomplete pass. Nice job by the Patriots. Key to break it up. This was a 7-3 game after three quarters, but it was a great 7-3 game. First play of the fourth quarter, first and 10, Giants in the 20. Eli trying to get some to big man Kevin Boss. Gain of 45 yards. First down, Giants at the New England 35-yard line. Moments later, third and four, Eli looking for the rookie from where's Keyshawn? Southern what? Yes. Southern Cow. Dun 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 Steve uh, Smith, gain of 17. <laughs> first down of the 12-yard line. Two plays later, second and three. Can I probably get some David Tyree? David Tyree hadn't caught a touchdown since December 2006, but there you go. Puts the Giants up 10-7. Key, how do you get open? Simple fake moves. Dip the linebacker, get him to jump like he's blocking and go over the top and Manning straight strike. Looks like his brother. I was going to say, great play action. If he misses that throw by a splinter, that ball's going the other way. Great job. That's Peyton his Christie. first big catch Thank of the you. night. Yep. And he has another one coming up later. Next Patriots possession, first and 10. Brady to Randy Moss for a gain of 17. Moss had two postseason catches this entire postseason and coming in, that was his second of the game. Same drive, third and seven. Brady looking for Wes Welker, could not find him. New England, got to punt it. Next Giants possession, second and nine on the 30. Eli Manning rolling out. Proxical Burris is wide open. And what happens here? And it, well, he, he just tried to just lump it over his head, but had a little bit too much on it. Got a little too cute just instead of throwing it. Exactly. Yep. Giants would then have to punt. Tom Coughlin needed a hug at that moment. Next Patriots drive, second and five to the 25. Brady trying it, and he finally did get clicking with Moss in the fourth quarter. That's a gain of 10. Moss's third catch of the game. Same drive, second and one. Who's going to get it? Wes Walker. You know who. Hey, Watch out, now. What? what, what? Vincent, Vincent. He, he throws more okie dokes on anybody I've ever seen in the he open. Freaks him with the okie doke. Second and six pats in the 39. Brady complete again to the guy who has, you know, returned to kickoff, returned to punt, punted, kicked the field goal in a game. Only guy who's ever done all that. Walker, 11 catches, ties a Super Bowl record held by three other players. Same drive, second and 10, the 29. Brady looking for the guy he threw 23 touchdowns to. Randy Moss, game of 11, another first down. Same drive. Tom Brady threw 48 passes in this game, and here he's looking for the guy that, Sean, you called the best third down back in the game. Uh, no question. And look, he always knows where the stripe is, gets to it, takes the hit, and stays in the game and blocks people. He is a great performer in big games. That set up first and goal. Third and goal now. If you're scared, say you're scared. Brady to Randy Moss. And Wesley looks scared there. He's playing the outside leverage technique, thinking back shoulder. Randy Moss set him up perfect. Boom, boom, bam, slam, touchdown, fall down. Don't get a hand on them in the red zone. That's too, That's like shooting fish in a barrel. Tom Brady threw 18 passes in the fourth quarter. Patriots only ran the ball once. Junior say on Teddy Bruschi figure, they are on the verge of history. But as Peyton Manning has done so many times, Eli about to get rolling. 239 left, down four, third and 10. Complete to Amani Toomer for nine. One yard short of the first down. Fourth down and one yard. Eli, uh, Emmett, if you got a big brother, 6'4", 265 in the backfield, what do you do? You give him the rock. And here, here you see this play right here. Brandon Jacobs just fall down. When you're 6'4", you can fall forward and get a yard. And when you're an Eminem away for three bills, you can too. <laughs> Same drive, 35 and the 44. This is the, the, the sickest play of the game. First of all, I, don't, I have no idea how Eli Manning gets away from this. And Biggest watch, play of his career, buddy. Termination. Watch the catch by David Tyree. 44 yards. Tyree put the ball on his helmet as he fell down. And Key, 
Didn't Rodney Harrison have some good coverage on this thing? He did have good coverage, but I think Rodney was trying to bat the ball down instead of running through the wide receiver. And David Tyree, Big T, came down with the football and put him in great position. Mike Carey, the head official, making a great call, not making a call, and calling Eli Manning in the grasp. Letting him play, and the guy delivers maybe the biggest play of his career, as well as Tyree. What you saw that was determination by Eli to continue to play, and also by David Tyree to keep the drive going. No question. Same drive, second and 11 to 25 looking for Tyree again could not hook up with him there incomplete next play third and 11 guys uh Sean and Keyshawn specifically I forgot where I get did Steve Smith go to school uh Southern Cal oh okay. yes thank you the rookie had five catches in the game for 50 yards first and 10 now Giants from the 13 Manning can't nobody fancy. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Okie doke. Oh, that's, that's, the, duck. that's the slant. Go, okie doke. The clocks go. He had 12 touchdown catches in the regular season, first in the postseason. How did he beat, I mean, school Ellis Hobbs here? Well, Ellis Hobbs was looking for the slant route. He ran a fade. If you think about Randy Moss, they were thinking back shoulder. Moss ran a slant. So it's pretty much the same thing. They seen that on field. They knew that Ellis Hobbs was the weak link in the secondary, and they went after Get him. a guy sitting on his heels down there. It's, it's over. Ball game. Nice pitch and catch. Patriots get the ball back 29 seconds left on their own 26 yard line now it's second and 10 the 26 Ugh. rookie jay alford just busted tom brady in the grill Ugh. again you see the, the determination from the giants defense stepping up when time really really matter it was somebody it was somebody different on the down for the whole night too now you got to go get this key at a time third and okay. 20 19 seconds left randy moss double covered didn't get it why guys well i think randy could have elevated you know he's going down the field full speed and he could probably stop elevated his highest point take the ball off the helmet but sometimes doing you, that is whole thing hey, sometimes you win them sometimes you lose them all right here we go guys fourth down and 20 10 clock ticks to go brady incomplete to moss again ball game Giants in a stunner win Super Bowl 42, 17 to 14. Tom Coughlin gets a Gatorade shower. The Patriots are just stunned. Randy Moss, record-setting season, but 18 and one means loser. Look at the dream killer. And Eli Manning, hey, he plays in New York Broadway. He will be popular. He's and gonna be popular. Career changer. Super Bowl MVP Eli Manning and Michael Strahan celebrate that's, with the Lombardi Trophy. That's a good feeling right there. Oh, I don't mean to take a shot, but where's Tiki Barber? Oh. oh. I ain't, ain't going to say that, but that ain't right. Giants, see, see what had happened. But you didn't uh, mean to, though. Did no, you? no. <laughs> My producer's I Patriots. Told to say that. Giants beat him 17 to 14. 22 of 43 Super Bowl MVPs, there are once co-MVPs, have been quarterbacks. And the 22nd quarterback, who is an MVP, all eyes, all attention, all the microphones in front of Eli after the game. I told him Tommy just said, um, you know, he, he talked about last night the, the feeling of winning a championship, and um, he wanted us to have that feeling. He had had it before uh, when he was with the Giants, and uh, he wanted us to get that feeling. And so I talked to him after. He, he said that feeling is pretty good, and I said you can't you can't beat it. You're right. We've been building momentum and building momentum, and if you if you're going to have a chance to win, you're going to have to play great defense, and we certainly did really throughout the entire playoffs, and certainly tonight was. Uh, was a great example of it, but uh, we, you know, we, we, uh, it, it was a tremendous team effort all the way around, all the way through the playoffs, and uh, just a, a wonderful way to end this thing. When the ball was in the air, and I was just looking at it, trying to get free, trying to get open, and, uh, you know, when I saw I was open, I just made sure my feet was in, and I made sure I looked, I looked the ball all the way in, and, you know, uh, came down with it. We just left off where we started the game before. You know what I mean? And we knew we can do we can do good things against this defense. You know, they don't intimidate us at all. You know, we you know, we, we you know, we play in the NFC East, we're hard hitting teams and you know, not not say they're a great team, but you know, we, we, we play against the more physical teams. No, it's just special to win. But it is good to quiet a lot of people. We got a new trademark. What is that? 18 and 1, world champion, New York Giants. <laughs> Write that book. The Giants pull off the shocker, winning the Super Bowl for the third time. First time since they beat the Bills. Giants are the eighth franchise to win at least three Super Bowls. And they made their home away from Giants Stadium. You know, they set the record with 10 straight road wins. Hey, they weren't at home in this game. 11, their last 11 games away from the Meadowlands they won following that week one loss to Dallas. And by knocking off their previous undefeated Patriots, 
Giants joined the 93 Cowboys and 2001 Patriots, as I said, the only teams to win the Super Bowl after starting the season 0-2. Well, as for the other team in this Super Bowl, the New England Patriots, the fourth team to enter the postseason undefeated. They were looking for perfection, you might have heard. But just like the Bears in both 1934 and 1942, the Pats fall in the championship game. They do leave the 72 Dolphins all alone as the only undefeated team in NFL history. So Tom Brady, no longer so perfect. We just didn't get the ball in the end zone enough. You know, you score 14 points. That's, I don't think that's our lowest total of the year, and that got us beat. Probably need some time to reflect on the game and some time to reflect on the season, but uh, I'm sure it'll be, well, it is extremely disappointing. Uh, isn't something, you know, any of us prepare for, but you go into a game, you know that some teams got to win and some teams got to lose. So I thought they really, uh, they had a very good game plan. They executed it very well. And, uh, Three-point win. I think we're usually on the on the better side of those three-point wins, but uh, you know, just have to regroup and come back and try to make it stronger next year. Well, I mean, no, they, they, look, they they played well. They made some plays. We made some plays. In the end, they made a couple more than we did. So. You got to give all the credit to the New York Giants. I mean, they played tremendous football. Very resilient, hard-fought team that was tough. We knew this coming in, and they made more plays than we did. Now I think that, you know, Eli and his offense made some great plays uh, that last drive of the fourth quarter to win the game. And, um, you know, hats off to them. It's, it's, it's nothing, you know, that they did wrong. It's a lot of things that they did wrong.